Hey guys, um, before I get started with the tutorial, I just want to remind everyone about, um, oh, about two tutorials ago, um, there is a giveaway. Um, I think it's tutorial number 10 or 11. I don't know. I'll put it in the descriptions box. Um, but anyway, if you have not uh, signed up for the giveaway for the free bow, please do so um, because the drawing will be in a few days. I said that the, uh, the drawing will probably take place at the end of April, so sometime this weekend. Um, April 30th or May 1st 2016 I will draw a name um, for that free bow so make sure that if you miss that go back and get the opportunity to get your name in for a free bow and I just want to quickly say thanks to everyone who um, has visited the Facebook page and all the nice comments and things but I have not seen um, pictures of anybody's work yet so I encourage you to definitely post your work to my Facebook page and I'll definitely give you a shout out um, I've been keeping up with the comments and trying to help everybody as much as possible so anyway thanks and I appreciate all the support um, Another thing before we get started, then this is part of the video, I want to introduce a new Facebook group. And uh, I will leave the link below. And, well, I wouldn't say it's a new Facebook group, but anyway, it would be new to you if you don't belong to it. Um, it's called Rum Junk. And um, the lady who uh, runs it is a very... Uh, sweet and hard-working lady and um, she's very easy to work with and I just want to show you some of the ribbon um, definitely want to check this out because uh, a lot of the new lines come out um, you know maybe before uh, it ends up online uh, you can you know get it at cheaper prices that kind of thing wholesale prices uh, so, you know, the more popular ribbon lines, especially if you're going to do a lot of bow making or whatever, uh, definitely, you know, want to check this out. And I have some of the ribbon here. Um, this is a one and a half inch. Uh, this is that foil ribbon that um, I've used some of it already. This is kind of like the, um, I guess, diamond print or whatever. And this is the pink. <clears throat> Okay, and then this is the uh, 7 8 inch also, and I use this length um, a lot of times in uh, my over the top bows or my loopy bows. Um, you know, and this is the same pattern, just uh, different sizes. Okay, and let's see, here's the dark lavender or like it the dark orchid um, same pattern love the foil print ribbon awesome you know not a whole lot of websites carry it um, but this is definitely this is a Facebook group all right and here's the one and a half inch okay um, and then here's the scroll print and this is like, um, oh, sort of a rainbow color foil. You know, it has a lot of the different colors in it. And this is uh, like a teal or turquoise. Very gorgeous, gorgeous ribbon. And you can get all these ribbons um, through the Facebook group. Okay, here's the black. And here's the white with the gold foil print. Okay. Uh, and here's like a turquoise. I mean, I can go on and on and on. Uh, and another thing, my absolute favorite that I, you know, have used several times, the Sparkle Grow Grain. I've mentioned a few places um, to get it. Um, 
but uh, the Facebook page uh, that I'm referring to, the Rum Junk, um, and I'm going to leave the link, uh, the link below, she also carries it on the, that page as well, and it comes in the one and a half inch, um, seven eighths inch, and the three eighths. And I'm going to have to reorder some of mine because I've run out. I'm almost out of that one. See, here's the three eighths. Okay. And then, of course, you have your, um, you know, printed ribbon as well. And this is the one we're going to work with. Um, in this video it's um, sparkle is my favorite color and I have an over-the-top bow that I made with this I'm almost out of all of this this is like all I had left it also comes in white um, you know and I use the other ones I just showed you uh, as coordinating colors in the bow and I'm going to um, I'll leave a picture on my Facebook page <coughs> that has this ribbon in it um, there's you know Christmas ribbon um, you know, the new Dr. Seuss ribbon, everything, all the new lines um, that come out, you can get them on this Facebook page. Okay, so you definitely want to check it out. And then before we get started with the tutorial, I know y'all are probably like, hurry up. <coughs> um, just a couple little bows. And these are um, like, you know, medium or whatever. Uh, this is the Sparkle Grow Grain. And then this is the Black you know diamond foil and then I just put the 3 8 ribbon in the middle and all this ribbon came from rum junk okay this is the one we're going to be doing um, not the same ribbon but anyway uh, this is of course the one and a half inch glitter um, ribbon and then here's the little foil print ribbon in the middle and then all I did was I just put the, uh, you know, the, the rhinestone um, center that, you know, I've done that in a couple of other videos. All right, and we are going to make this type of bow, but we are going to use this ribbon and this ribbon. Okay, and this bow is in the pinwheel style and what we're going to do is a double pinwheel or a stacked pinwheel whatever you want to call it okay so for uh, this particular tutorial you will need your scissors uh, glue gun uh, a lighter needle and thread and you know your salon clip um, unless you crease it in another way um, if you need to use a template to make a pinwheel. I don't use um, templates. I just, you know, out of curiosity, a long time ago ordered one of these plastic ones. This is, uh, you know, for a four and a half inch bow. Um, anyway, that you know, it has the little slit in the middle or whatever and, you know, you just wrap the ribbon around it. Um, you know, something like this and you know you you crease it in the middle or whatever um, if you need something like that or you can even make your own out of cardboard um, then that would be another added supply okay uh, and you also need like a, a coordinating 3 8 piece of, of ribbon to put in the middle okay and another thing I'm going to use you don't have to is um, I have the little uh, foil padded star that goes with the star in uh, the ribbon here and that's what I'm going to use for my centerpiece for this one okay <clears throat> now measurements um, believe this is about 28 inches um, somewhere around there this is a one and a half inch um, in uh, in width and the link is about uh, the length is about 28 inches or so if I am not mistaken okay so <clears throat> I'm gonna remeasure for sure and put uh, in the descriptions box and then this one was 18 to 19 inches I believe something like that but I'll definitely uh, remeasure and, and uh, yeah, I mean, you can do this in any size you want, okay? That's, you know, this is just what I'm going to do. 
and this like I said this is about you know medium size bow um, sometimes my definition of medium may not be the same as your definition you may you know think wow that's a large bow and to me it's really medium but anyway okay now for a pinwheel um, you can start on either side actually I tend to favor this side you know where I have you know I start here where my tail hangs on the left hand side okay so you want to make your first loop like this and you don't have to worry about heat sealing yet we're gonna take care of uh, that in just a minute okay and then you just you know flip over okay and um, I leave a little excess right here and of course this is definitely not a new bow I mean there are you know tons of tutorials on this okay and then you know there's your last loop and you just kind of flip it over and you know I've got some excess hanging there <coughs> Now, some people just, you know, crease in the middle or whatever. You can do that, or you can use the uh, creasing tool here, our large salon clip. Okay, and you want to make sure that you go down the middle. And you know my little method. I like to just bend, you know, bend my uh, loops down and, and see. Okay, and I need to kind of pull this over a little bit okay and so this is you know what it looks like in the salon clip and you don't want to bunch you know your, your ribbon up you barely want the sides you know to you know just overlap a little bit okay you don't want it all the way over so that you can see your loops okay so then you want to get your <clears throat> your needle and thread to crease and remember I use or recommend that you use upholstery thread all right so I'm gonna go in through the back in the middle and just like with all the others you know, feed it through the top and around the bow a few times back through the top all right and then of course you just want to tug on your thread until you have it creased okay and then you take your salon clip off and before you tie it off in the back you just kind of want to adjust and you know make sure that your loops are even and then you can turn it over in the back and tie it off okay and then you want to take your scissors and cut that off okay now um, there are two things you can do with the tails I mean you can um, you know do the V cuts or um, you know you can do just at, you know at, a, at an angle or whatever and I think for this one I'm going to do the V cuts and if you uh, want to do that then you just simply fold it and then um, you know cut like this okay and I'm gonna do the same thing down here kind of ended up with a long tail but anyway I'm, I'm sometimes I'm not much uh, on measurements I, I just kind of do it off the roll you know not necessarily measuring it okay and so you know and it's pretty just like that um, you know if you want to just put it you know, you could just wrap the, you know, the uh, three-eighths ribbon around the middle. You, you know, you could do um, rhinestones, whatever, okay, and put your, your alligator clip or your barrette, which that's another supply you'll need that I failed to mention. Or you could put it on a headband, you know, a, a 
uh, use this kind of ribbon with the, the braided headband. Okay, but we are going to make it a little more elaborate. You know me, I can't leave it alone. And you uh, definitely want to heat seal. Got my little table fan going, so I'm having trouble keeping the flame lit. Okay, and then you just set that to the side and you repeat the process with the uh, top ribbon, but you're going to go a little bit smaller. Okay, all right, and so you're going to repeat the process with this one. I love this ribbon. It is just gorgeous. I've made several bows with this line, this, this particular line of ribbon. All right, let me adjust a little bit. <clears throat> okay. All right. And this is a flat bow. It's not, you know, real poofy like most of the other ones we've made. I know I always say we. I just feel like y'all are part of this, like you're doing it right with me. So that's why I say we. Okay, so again, we're just repeating the process, however you like to crease. And I'm just, oh. There's the dog barking. Most videos end up with some kind of dog sounds. I have one dog that barks at absolutely any little disturbance. I think he's disturbed. Okay, so then um, you want to take your, your string, and or your thread rather, and go through the back of the bow and wrap it around. Okay, and then once you've gone around a couple of times, you just simply pull and crease. This is actually a you know, very easy bow to make, um, it, you know, pretty quick. It doesn't take a long time. Okay, and then, whoops, and then you just... Simply tie it off in the back. And snip, snip. Okay, and see so you've got your two ribbons. You want to make sure your words are the right side up. Okay, and now, you know, you're going to just stick it in the middle there. And before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and trim up my tails. When you order this ribbon and it comes in the mail, you know, it's just, you can't really know how gorgeous it is until you actually get it in the mail and open the packages. It's just it far exceeds any picture. Alright, and then you want to, of course, heat seal your ends. Okay. Alright, and then that's the second pinwheel. And you're basically just, you know, stacking them on top. So you want to get your glue gun. And of course mine looks awful. But every good crafter or busy crafter, whatever you want to... And one who is uh, very much uh, dedicated to it has um, a messy glue gun. And that's okay. I'm not embarrassed by that like some crafters are. Okay, and so you just simply you know, glue one on top of the other. Pretty, pretty. Okay. And then uh, I'm going to take my, and I may just trim down my uh, tails a little bit, but anyway. Um, 
and you can you know put your uh, your clip in you know whatever you're going to use alligator clip I, I don't prefer them but with the smaller bows um, most toddlers have you know thin hair and the barrettes just kind of slide right out so alligator clips tend to be better for these smaller bows all right and I'm just gluing it in okay and then I'm going to open my clip and of course I already heat sealed this one side okay and then I'm going to wrap it around the middle glue strings everywhere And I'm going to cut this excess off, heat seal it. Sometimes this metallic ribbon doesn't, uh, you know, doesn't seal too well. Let's see. All right, and it already frayed a little bit, so. Sometimes the glue will just seal that end. Okay, and then I'm just going to reheat it. Can't get my lighter. There we go. Okay. Now, this is what you have. And again, it's, you know, it's pretty just, just like it is. You know, with the little metallic grow grain in the middle. Okay. But, you can certainly... You know, put uh, the small rhinestones, or I've got this, you know, big rhinestone, or whatever. Um, but like I showed you, I'm going to put my little star in the middle, because that's the theme of the ribbon. You know, it's got the little silver foil stars everywhere. Okay, and then I'm just going to glue that in the middle. I absolutely love these padded appliques, I think is what they're called, basically. Okay, and there you go. That's a double pinwheel with gorgeous ribbon from the Facebook group Rum Junk. And I hope you guys check them out. And uh, anytime I get new lines of ribbon from them, I'm going to be doing tutorials. So y'all go check it out and um, you know, join the group and you know get some gorgeous ribbon at some great prices. Um, you know that comes out pretty quick before you know most other people can get it. Okay, so check that out, and I hope uh, this tutorial helped y'all today me a thumbs up and um, subscribe and, and go to the Facebook page please visit the, the Facebook page and um, you know drop me a photo of you know your work I would love to see everybody's work and before I end I just want to um, talk about some of the future videos I want to do um, I thought about doing a series of flip-flop videos um, I have some real cute ideas of what I want to do um, and I thought you know summer's coming up so I might do you know one a week for the uh, month of May or something like that and um, and then I'm going to also do a um, like a snowball themed um, you know bow also and, and we'll take the styrofoam balls and and you know make a centerpiece you know painting them and whatever so um anyway just stay tuned and check it out and I'm, hopefully i'll get it up pretty soon um anyway forgive my talkativeness but please go and check out this facebook group and um 
and uh, I'll leave the link below. Thanks a lot, guys.